freestyle fighter. He's a challenger in the Vati Tudo, a Brazilian wrestling champion in 90, 91, and 92, and he's a Brazilian jiu-jitsu champion. Looks strong. He's also the head instructor at their school. Do they have schools in the United States? Just as well, yes. Now, how would you break this uh, fight down? What is the approach here for these fighters? Well, Henderson looks like he's not afraid of uh, guarding his legs too much. He's just trying to slug. Immediate punching. Yeah, if you notice, too, that uh, Henderson has his shoes on. He has a wrestling shoes, which you're not allowed to kick with. So he's just coming out to slug and to shoot. He got him down, did he not? Ground. Notice they're in the guard here. His legs inserted, his hooks inserted here. Henderson being comfortable in the guard position, which most wrestlers usually are. Crizio's holding his head, controlling the position. Dan's just relaxing, trying to pass the guard down a little bit. Trying to creep away, I guess. Facing his legs. Notice the knee, the leg hook there. Henderson's trying to slog away. Look at the quickness. Henderson fast. Notorious for that pinch there. He always loves to crunch a guy's head into his knee from the guard. I've wrestled with him a couple times, and he loves to do that. You've wrestled with him? Trained with him. Trained with Henderson a few times. He's extremely strong for his size. He has strong ligament strength. Look at the massive legs on this guy. Actually, both fighters look rather big. Thick, muscular. Tendon strength is key. It's not weight strength, it's tendon strength here. As you can see, the guy in the bottom, he's trying to get out. He's trying to sneak out a little bit. See, he's moving his hips, trying to sneak to the back. Dan's controlling his head really well, so it's real hard. Notice how he just cut him off and squared back up with him. Right. Trying to sneak out, get to his side, get to his back. Dan's controlling the guard very well. This is back into the closed guard. These fights are full of action. Sometimes there are some lax moments, but uh, the explosion of action comes at any any second. And here we go. Uh, so sometimes that. you need to relax. They relax in these. They they get their breath. They catch their wind, and then and then they go. They let everything out. If you go full force the whole time, it's real hard to to continue the pace. So the pace is the key. Now, would Crazy be able to uh, to manage to turn things around and get out of that hold? As you can see there, he was trying to insert his hook between his legs and trying to sweep him or get out. Notice he's trying to go. He's going to his knees. To, oh, he's up. He's back up. Henderson has a wizard on him. Crazy has got a bear hug, so it's hard for him to throw him right now. Good control, good base, good balance. Base is key. You're beginning to take, get tired now. It's very difficult to go from, from ground to standing to ground to standing. It's probably the most tiring fight you could ever fight. Training for these athletes is very difficult. You have to be in top shape. These guys are top athletic physical specimens. They look like they're in great shape. They look like they're massive. Humans. Back into the guard once more. Now, I see what you mean about tendon strength, uh, Eric. Look at his legs. Notice that the Brazilians always choose the guard. That's like the safety zone. Henderson loves that headlock, just tries to pinch your head off. Seems like he's got him wrapped under pretty, pretty well. What can a man do to get from under such a thing? Sneak your hips out, try to go back to your knees, control your head, keep that arm up there so he can't get a good pinch on the head. Henderson's expelling a lot of energy here. Well, if, if that's oh, what you got to do, if that's what you got to do, it's not working for him. Back up. He's pulling him back oh, up. Why, why is that? Uh, not enough action on the ground. Again, this is for the spectators. Somebody in Crezio's fight corner is upset. Who is that? That's Feliz Ismail. He's one of the top fighters, one of the most popular fighters in Brazil. You can see him screaming there in the corner. Now, the referee, Zarella, he's a Brazilian kickboxing champion, so he likes to see the standing. That could be a little bit to do with him standing them back up, as opposed to a jiu-jitsu jiu referee. They look tired now. They really do. At least Crezio does. Just squaring up. You can see Henderson squaring up for that big shot. Looks like Crezio's waiting to shoot. Going to have a dive for the legs? What are we going to do here? 
I think Carrezzo is going to go for the legs. Looks like Henderson's going to punch him. See that? One square shot. Oh, and he shoots a double into the body. Nice knee. Good exchange. Oh, oh good knee. Look at that. Oh, double leg. He's got him down. Henderson's on his butt. Notice he's holding him tight. Good position. Crizio's going to try to sneak his head out and pass his guard here. Oh, he jumped over his guard. Henderson's notorious for that headlock. Now, Carrizio's got to get his head loose in order for him to move. Otherwise, he could be thrown over real easy. So it's just a matter of time. Takes his time. Let's stand get a little tight. His head's loose. Good control on top. Just controlling the position. Dan's countering the mount. I've seen that at a couple of fights where... Uh... One, uh, one foot gets over to the other foot with the man down. What is that? They lift the legs up like that uh, just to protect the person from the mount position from the person on top to step over. So his legs are up so he doesn't allow it. So usually what they do is they put the knee on like he just did here for the mount. He stays on his back. Oh, Henderson rolls. Oh, good counter recount. He's back on his back once more. crazy has got the mount. This is, this is what the Brazilians are fam famous for, for the... Uh, hunch and punch, the ground and pound. Is that uh, your nomenclature there, the hunch and punch, Eric? The hunch and punch, that's I like that. famous. Oh, Henderson with a good bridge back to the guard. Wrestlers are notorious for their bridge. And when you say bridge, what are you talking about? Anytime someone's sitting on them in a position, sitting on their stomach, they'll try to bridge you over to get you back to your back. Great leg work by Henderson, look at that. He's trying to step around there. I mean, he's got Carizio, massive leverage. Oh, Look at that. Five unanswered blows means usually that it's the end of the fight. Looks like Henderson's getting ready to finish him here with a choke. A couple of headbutts, side headbutt. Just, he's posting up. Looks like he's getting ready to pull back and hit. Because he was working his guard here, open guard, trying to kick his legs out so he doesn't have control. That's Carlson in his corner screaming at him. That's his, that's his coach. He's one of the top trainers in the world for fighters. What's a guy to do in that position? What's a guy to do? Again, on the bottom, his objective is to try to sneak out, hold him, let him wear himself out, and then sneak his hip out and try to get to his side or his back. Question is, does he have the strength and energy left for that? He's just holding on. He's letting Dan Seems burn like Dan is, Dan is moving him around. Dan's burning a lot of energy here. Notice he's trying to pin his head up against the fence. Yeah. Good control the fence. Good work with the fence. Dan's just putting all his weight on him. Now the hitting. Oh, look Again, at that. The Here we go. Look at that. Punch. There's five punches there. And the ref broke. That's amazing. You think he just broke the, the fight, fight like that? And that's it. He that's calls the fight. Dan Henderson said he was going to rock and roll tonight, and he sure did from beginning to the he end. He just called the fight. That's... That doesn't happen too often, especially in these types of fights that they call. A little a slow, slow motion, motion here. here. Look at this knee. Oh, right in the eye. Look at the hand. Hand on the head so he can't shoot. Steps off. One punch. Misses the punch. Taken down by the double leg. Body and leg. Damn, right over the guard. It seems like this is an opportunity here to sort of reverse things. Here we have... Oh, the top position he's holding. Look at look at the bridge that he got. Look at the power in the bridge. Dan Henderson was notorious to, from that bridge. Yeah, re reverse the whole situation again. Gracio couldn't just keep it from. Uh, from Here we happening. have a slow mo. Not just where he just starts hitting and one. Two. This is the this is the finish three, of the fight. Yeah. Four, five. But as you can see, some of the punches weren't hitting. They're were deflecting blows. Some of the punches were deflecting blows there. If I was a ref, I don't think I would call this fight. I would let it go. Call it whether you would or not. It was called at 8 minutes and 7 seconds, Eric.